Hey folks, Richard Trascoma, Real Estate with a Twist. First of all, I guess uh, some people get confused that maybe I'm just a bartender. But the truth is that I am a real estate agent in Central Florida in the Mount Dora office of ERA Resort. So if you need anything in that world, please give me a call. But another thing I do know is how to make a drink. We've had some pretty stiff drinks lately, especially after that Vesper uh, last week that went up to uh, Laurel and New Hampshire. Lake County, I'm sure, loved the heck out of that one. This week, we're actually leaving uh, Lake County again for the next request. We're going over to the Panhandle of Florida to Gail and Bob, who said that they would like to see a chocolate martini. So we're going to do a little chocolate martini. As usual, please don't drink and drive. Uh, if you need anything, uh, don't get yourself in trouble. Call me. Heck, if you're close by, I'll come get you. Uh, chocolate martini. This thing has a lot of calories in it. So Gail, I'm guessing it's you more than Bob, but maybe I underestimate that whole request. Uh, what I'm going to tell you is this is a dessert, so you probably don't want to drink these all night long. You'd probably end up getting a belly like me. So with that being said, let's get right to it. You're going to need a few different types of liquor. Uh, the one you're going to need uh, to start is the Godiva uh, chocolate liqueur. It's a white chocolate liqueur. They have a dark, but you want to use the white on this one. You're going to want a vanilla vodka uh, of your choice, something decent, but it doesn't have to be good because we're going to mix this thing with some stuff, so any vanilla vodka would do. I could use Smirnoff and you probably wouldn't tell us the difference. Then you're gonna want cream to cocoa. So those are the three liquors that you're gonna see in this drink today. And the last and final ingredient is good old half and half, not of the low calorie variety. So let's get right to it. In a martini glass, because we call it chocolate martini even though it's not an actual martini. We're gonna need some ice in our shaker. Because this thing has so much uh, half and half, a cream based product in it, we're gonna to wanna to make sure we shake the schnot out of this thing. So what you're gonna do is one and a half ounces of the uh, Godiva white chocolate. So one and a half ounces, Gail, pour that in there. You're gonna want one and a half ounces of the cream to cocoa. So equal parts of those two. And then you're gonna want three quarters of an ounce of the vanilla vodka. Three quarters of an ounce. And then a big delicious calorie hit is gonna be two ounces of half and half. So two ounces of half and half, one and a half of the cream to cocoa, one and a half of Godiva chocolate, and three quarters ounce of the vanilla vodka. Throw the top on there. Get to shaking. This thing, it's probably gonna be the best, one of the best drinks you've ever had as far as a dessert drink. But I'm not gonna lie to you, like I said, that this thing will definitely add on the calories. My wife makes me make it with uh, almond milk, so you can do that. Make sure it's nice and cold. You can chill the martini glass, but I wouldn't bother. <clears throat> But what I would bother with is either A, putting a little chocolate syrup on something and run the rim, rim around it, or you just put a little thing in there and you can kind of make your own design. Doesn't matter, just spin it around, get some chocolate going in there and call that good. Once you have that, got your shaker, ice and cold, pour that bad boy in there. And that's a nice good size martini too. Once you got it, uh, you can serve it like that with chocolate on the rim or whatever, but what I like to do uh, is go ahead and put some uh, dark chocolate on the top of it. Just a little bit, kind of adds to the drink as you're taking it. And that right there, Gail, is the perfect chocolate martini. There are a few different recipes you can mix with uh, the other things. I like to put chocolate vodka in and separate that in for some of the ingredients, the cream to cocoa and stuff. But play with it, and I think you'll find that this one's actually one of the best around. Anyway, thanks for joining me. We'll see you guys next week, and cheers.